Hey everyone, Ahsoka here. Uh, for today's video, we're going to do a little bit of an unboxing, or a unboxing, of the new Storm Collectibles 112th scale dark side figure. So this guy was just released, I think a week or two ago. Um, it's, it's very new, so I just got this in yesterday. Um, so yeah, it's a, it's a brand new figure that just hit. Uh, for those of you who aren't familiar, Storm Collectibles is a Hong Kong based company. Uh, they do Mortal Kombat figures and some other figures, I think. <laughs> but also what I care about is their DC figures. So far, they've done a Lobo figure, a Bane figure, and I think this might be just their third figure. So their license consists of Injustice 2. Um, I'm not sure if they have a license for Injustice 1, or what other license they have with DC, but as far as I know, it's just with the Injustice uh, video game, uh, Justice Gods Amongst, Amongst Us. So actually, it's not even Injustice 2. It must be Injustice um, 1, or maybe it's the whole Injustice, uh, or both games. I don't really know. But anyways, so they, they've released a few figures so far. Uh, from what I've seen, they're really lovely figures. This is my first figure that I, I purchased from them. Uh, so I'm really excited to uh, take a look at this. So let's get to it. So I'm going to adjust the camera just a little bit. So you can see more of the, the figure, unless in my face. Um, and there he is. So let's get let's get into it. So it's my first time with a storm collectibles figure. So hopefully he won't be too too hard to get out of the case. All right, so let's get him out. So you know, before I do that, let's take a look at the packaging. You know, let's try to make this professional, guys. So uh, first of all, I really like the packaging on this guy. Um, you know, I love the the box art. I love the back. I, I really love the photography they did with the back of this. It looks really cool, and they really show. Off the figure nicely here. Um, the sides pretty basic, but oh yes, overall the packaging is really nice. And there you go. All right, so that's enough for the packaging. Let's let's take a look at the actual figure we can care about. So let's take him out of the box. So here he is. There is Dark Side. So he's got a lot of plastic around him, so it's kind of hard to see the figure. So let's uh, let's get him out. So I'm going to move the box over to the side here, and then. Move the camera down a little bit more so you can actually see what I'm doing. Let's get rid of the scissors. And, oh, there he is. There he is in all his, all his glory. So, some stuff's already falling out of the package. Oh, this was one of his heads. Thank God it's in foot, uh, foot reach, so I got him. So there's one of the heads that just uh, fell off. I apologize if it's going to be a little hard to get the focus right. It's the first time I'm, I'm actually in the video as I do one of these reviews, so my focus will be even worse than it usually is. But anyways, uh, let me get him out of the package a little bit. Wow, this is a really awesome figure. Look at this guy. Okay, so here he is. And wow, he is really, really well done. So first of all, just the feel of the figure. Um, it's, it's very plasticky, this part. It's just very soft, soft plastic. Uh, which I kind of like because I think it gives him some flexibility. I'm just kind of, I don't know, I think it's just something different. So his main outfit here is definitely a soft plastic. I think the head sculpt is really nice. There's the head sculpt that he that he comes with. Oh, there he is. Um, the, the gloves, again, some more soft plastic around the gloves area. Um, so yeah, overall, he's, he's a really lovely looking figure. I love this sort of I love the purple look to him. I think the dark side we've gotten recently from DC Collectibles, the DC Icon, the new figure more of a blue, but this one's more of a purple. I should have gotten them down for this review, but it's okay. We'll do that in another video or another picture. So yeah, um, so far I'm really liking him. I love the detail of the the arms and the face. The well, articulation is really nice. You can really move this guy around. The one I like the most is the putting his arms behind him, like in the video game, where he just sort of hovers there. I don't think I did the best job doing that, but it's really easy to do. So you can put his arms behind him and so on. So yeah, he he looks great. So let's see what he comes with. So first of all, he comes with a couple of extra hands um, and a few extra heads, three extra heads. And he also comes with this the Omega Beam effect. So, let's take all that stuff out so you guys can see it. 
All right, so let's take a look at this first um, extra head. So here's his first extra head that I'm showing you. It comes with the uh, Omega effect kind of in progress. So that's pretty cool. And these beams actually come out, so that's neat. Let's we'll see how easy is easy it is to, well, very easy actually. Pop his head out. There we go. So one thing to watch out for already is the little Omega effect. I kind of pops out very easy, so just be wary of that, but that's it. And there he is. So there is Dark Side with his Omega effect eyes. Oh duh, that's why they pop out easily. So that you could probably put the other Omega effect in. So let's take a look at the other one, which is this longer one, which is really neat. Let me get it right. Okay. So there he is putting in the other Omega Effect eye, eye piece. It's a little tricky. It's not exactly, I didn't see instructions in there because I got into this figure so much, but you just kind of have to f fiddle with it a little bit and figure out how to, oh, there he goes. It wasn't too bad. So that's pretty cool. Look at that. I'm not sure I have those in right, but it's pretty rad. Look at that. So I, some of you folks who do those really cool um, diorama scenes, and, and stories with your Instagram pictures, I think you're really gonna love this figure just because of this. So, yeah, look at that. Yeah, all right, so let's take that head off. So he comes with that head, the head he came with, more of an angrier head. This is angrier head. Your looks that always kinda of looks angry, so, you know. And then, yeah, so that's about it. So actually, what am I talking about? He's got four heads total. Um, I, I don't really see much of that dramatic of a difference between the heads. You know, they're they're okay. They're, I mean, they're great heads, but I don't see much of a difference um, between the two. This one is, the, I think, the one that was in the package, and that's just him without it, his mouth shut. But yeah, and then he comes with a bunch of extra hands. He well, three, four, five extra hands. So there's one of them right there. So let's just try to pop off the or the extra hands and see how easy. Oh, there, it's very easy to put. Very easy to put. That's the wrong side. Let's do this. Oops. So, let's get his little hand on here. There we go. And I apologize if for the background noise. That's my little AC in the Shed of Solitude. Um, it gets a little hot in here, my friends, so I have a little AC unit that's running. So there you go. There he is with one of his hands. Let me put the other hand on him, too. It's definitely got that new plastic smell fresh out of the package, so yeah. But there he is. I mean, overall, I am really pleased with this figure. Um, so far, just from my, my first impressions of him, I think he's an awesome dark side figure. Again, it's a 112 scale, so he's gonna scale very nicely with a lot of different figures. Uh, let's just grab uh, some in the back, grab a figure in the background here. Let's do a little comparison. So here is, the McFarland Toys Nightwing. So there he is next to the next to that guy. Oh, and then goes Nightwing's Scream of Sticks. And then here is the Beast Kingdom uh, Cyborg, which I think he scales really nicely with. Now, the good thing about Darkseid is he's been bigger, or the size of him really varies wildly from his different incarnations. The New 52 Darkseid was huge. This one, I think, is kind of a more in, in line with uh, his comic book height. Um, but yeah, he scales really well with both the McFarlane and the Cyborg from Beast Kingdom. Oh, I just want to stand up today. Um, let me just grab a DC Direct figure from the background here. Oh, you know what? Here's the new DC Direct ooh, version 2. I'm oh, sorry, not version 2. The Return of Superman from DC Essentials, which is coming out uh, this month, actually. So there he is next to this figure. And again, he looks really good, I think, next to this guy also. He's the one stand this morning. So, yeah, I think he's going to scale really nicely with, um, you know, McFarlane, with DC uh, Direct, and, of course, Beast Kingdom. I think he scales the best with, uh, with Beast Kingdom. Uh, he, he kind of can be maybe a stand-in uh, for the Snyder Cut version of... Uh, Dark side in your Beast Kingdom display. 
or he's going to look good with any of your other figures. So, uh, yeah, overall, I think I'm, I'm really happy with this guy uh, from what I've seen. I mean, you know, I just unboxed him literally a few minutes ago. So, yeah, I really like this guy. I think he's awesome. The detail looks great. Can't wait to take some pictures of him. And, um, oh, so this guy retails for around $100. He's available from Amazon, from comic book stores. Uh, Sideshow Collectibles also sells him. And, yeah, I think uh, he should be pretty easy to get. Uh, the Lobo and the Bane are still available as well. Um, they haven't gone up in price too much yet. But I have a feeling that eventually, as they release more figures, they will. But one thing I do like about Storm Collectibles, well, other than they make awesome figures, is they haven't really released uh, too many figures yet, which is kind of nice not to be bombarded with a bunch of figures each year. So that's kind of cool. And I think for the price point, um, you know, it's, it's a pretty great value you know, for, you know, oh, the other thing I liked about this Storm Collectibles, on the box, it actually said, 17 and 17 plus that's my figure that actually says 17 versus like you know 13 or <laughs> for 13 year olds or whatever so it's definitely a for the more um adult co collector i guess i won't just stand there but i'm um, we'll them down um so anyways yeah i think that's that's enough so i think we beat this guy up enough so anyways let me get my ugly mug back in the picture there so there he is there is the dark side from storm collectibles i think you guys will really like this figure i highly recommend it just based on what I've seen so far. I mean, he's just really lovely detailed and just love the whole look of this figure. And yeah, can't wait to take some pictures of him and post those pretty soon. So anyways, thanks for uh, watching this video and you guys have a great day.